वेलकम बैक टू कैट कैम ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस स्प्रिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ हेलिक्स एंड स्पायरल टूल एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू यूज वेरिएबल पिच कमांड एंड क्रिएट दिस शेप इफ यू सो एडिट फीचर नाउ सी वी विल यूज हियर वेरिएबल पिच कमांड एंड क्रिएट दिस सिंपल शेप आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट स्टार्ट टू मेक दिस वन Now here let's start to create our spring with the help of helix and spiral tool. Let me choose new part. Select here okay. Now I'll do some little changes like uh, I'll change units okay. We will keep millimeter, gram, second. Then from here I'll choose background plain white. Okay. Now, for creating a spring, first we need to create a base circle. So, I'll choose top plane. Go to sketch. Either select sketch or directly choose circle. I'll choose a sketch. It will ask you which plane. So, let me choose top plane. And circle twenty. Enter. Now see. Exit. Now, just go to feature tool and. If you drop down the menu of curves here you will find helix and spiral let me choose helix and spiral now see diameter is 20 mm so from here i'll choose pitch and revolution constant pitch means it is a constant pitch uh, we will get this simple things we are going if you are going to create a spring but here we will learn variable pitch now see now first pitch first pitch we will start from here and first pitch we will keep zero height also it's zero because uh, at that point there is no height diameter by default 20 because uh, default diameter is 20 mm height also zero now let's move this second pitch click on second pitch and second pitch let's say 3 mm if you define pitch a gap between two curves is called pitch revolution ha this is the our second revolution if you click here then height 3 mm by default because uh, this is our second uh, pitch and the second pitch is uh, just 3 mm above the first pitch and first pitch uh, height is 0 and by default this is a 20 but we can change it let's say 18 just press tap key now see you will see the difference see this is first one the second pitch here you will see the dimension see now let's move third pitch third pitch let's say same height uh, pitch we will keep 3 mm but revolution we will increase let's say 6 if you increase 6 by default it will see it will show you 15 because our first height is uh, first revolution height is 0 so 50 uh, 6th one is comes and up to 15 mm and uh, from here height uh, diameter diameter you can change it let's say 6 mm press tab now see we will get this tapered shape look this seems but better now let's move further now let's say fourth pitch i want to increase only small point 1 and number of revolution from bottom 8 see by default it is 18.1 because if you are going to check height of 8th revolution it is 18 mm but uh, from 7 to 8 is 0.1 pitch see pitch is going to add so this is 18.8 and height uh, let's change 5 mm now see the fourth revolution uh, sorry fourth number of pitch now let's say some more 
थ्री मिलीमीटर एंड हियर रेवोल्यूशन लेट्स से टेन टेंथ रेवोल्यूशन एंड बाय डिफॉल्ट इट विल बी ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट थ्री इंटू नाइन इट्स ट्वेंटी वन एंड प्लस पॉइंट वन वन रेवोल्यूशन इज पॉइंट वन सो दिस इज टेंथ रेवोल्यूशन हाइट इज ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट देन हियर वी विल चेंज लेट से थर्टीन मिलीमीटर नाउ सी इस टेपर्ड शेप इज क्रिएटेड नाउ लेट्स मूव फर्दर थ्री Eleven. Now, by default, twenty-four point two because we only uh, only move one above, and here pitch is three millimeter. But height, diameter, diameter we will change. Let's say before thirteen, let's say fourteen. Okay. Now point one. We want to move a small point one. Let's say thirteen. Now see, this is twenty-seven. If you move. Here, twelfth one is three millimeter, so you add twenty four point two plus three. But here we added one more, so it's twenty seven point three. I hope you got this point. And uh, this one height, height. Uh, let's say we will reduce eight millimeter. Now look, look shape is going to change. See, now we will re reduce further more point one. Fourteen only one, and this is see, it will add only point one to the next revolution and twenty seven point four from twenty seven point three, and height uh, diameter. Diameter, let's say two millimeter. And uh, now see, so this is the shape we created, spring shape we created with the help of. Variable pitch, helix and spiral variable pitch. I hope you like it. Okay. Now see the things. Now here the gap, gap between two two pitch is minimum point one. So it should be diameter should be less than half. So let me choose swift boss base. I'll choose here. circular profile because i am not going to create any profile and this one point 0.4 i'll keep 0.4 why because the diameter should be less than the half of two pitch and uh, here i'll select profile now see if you like to hide select hide let me choose some solid color so that we will identify properly oh that's fine so this is the simple things how we created a spring with the help of helix and spiral and using variable pitch i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching